Hey guys, in today's tutorial we're going to be recreating this 3D logo from a vector file. My 3D logo, full workflow and 3D product animation courses have a 40% discount for a limited time. Use the code on the video description below. Now in Blender we're going to start importing the logo vector file go to file import svg select the logo vector file and click on import svg as we can see we have the logo in the scene let's rotate it in the x axis 90 degrees pressing r x and 90 go to the front view and move it to the center of the scene now go to Object, set Origin, and Origin to Geometry. I'm going to scale it a little bit more, as the logo is too small. I'm going to add a cube as reference for the size. Okay, let's scale the logo a little bit more, something like that, and move it up here. Now I'm going to separate the elements a little bit. Let's move this one here. Let's select this one in the back. Let's go here to the properties. I'm going to change the resolution to 60. Go to geometry. And we're going to use the extrude option. I'm going to change the value here something like that and let's do the same with this element increase the resolution and extrude it a little bit something like that i'm going to move this one select now this element i'm going to move it to the front and increase the resolution i'm going to duplicate it with shift d and move it to the back okay i'm going to make some room here for this element i'm going to change the film mode to none and in bevel i'm going to increase the depth just a little bit too much I'm going to decrease the value something like that and let's give it some extrusion a little bit less too much still something like this I'm going to move it a little bit and we're going to duplicate it and move it to the back like this for this one go to fill mode and select both and we're going to duplicate it again with shift D and move it to the back like this I'm going to select this element and move it right here select this one go to bevel and increase the value way too much let's decrease it maybe a little bit more like this and let's do the same with this element something like that Now select this element and we're going to move it to the back right here. Let's see how the logo is looking. Now on the front view we're going to add a lattice. 
and we're going to scale it on the x-axis and on the z-axis let's go to the side view and scale it on the y-axis too and move it a little bit to the back now i'm going to select this element and go to the modifiers we need to add a lattice modifier and press here and select this object now i'm going to select the rest of the elements pressing shift and we need to select this element last and press ctrl l and copy modifiers with this we have copied the modifier to the rest of the elements with the lattice selected we're going to change the resolution all right now i'm going to press tab to enter edit mode i'm going to the side view and select these vertices and move them in the y-axis to deform the logo let's do the same with these ones and these ones and let's do the same from the front view select these vertices and move it up a little bit this one too something like this let's see the logo from other angles going to edit mode and move these ones to the back a little bit all right something like that i'm going to select this object and press h to hide it i'm going to change to the render view and we need to add an environment texture press open and select the hdri map open image and now we can start working on the materials all right i'm going to start with this element go to materials and i'm going to delete this material and create a new one i'm going to increase the metallic value to one roughness let's change its value to 0.175 and let's change its color to a purple i'm going to use this color code i'm going to apply this material to the rest of the elements so let's select these elements and press l and link materials all right now i'm going to select this object on the front and for this one we need to create a new material i'm going to split this window and change this one to shader editor all right i need to rotate the environment texture let's go to world and with this node selected press ctrl shift t to create these two nodes and let's rotate the texture on the c-axis let's see maybe something like that change these two object and we need to add an image texture all right press open and select this texture press open image and i'm going to connect this node to the material output for now press ctrl shift t and connect object to vector i'm going to change the scale to 300 
you can see here how the texture is looking now we need to connect this node to the alpha channel of the material like this and connect the material to the output change the color to purple something like that all right now we need to add another shader this time we're going to add the glossy bsdf and we need a mix shader to combine the materials let's connect this one here and this one here and connect this one to the output i'm going to decrease the roughness on the glossy and we need to decrease the factor on the mix shader all right let's see how it's looking from another angle go to this tab and in film we need to activate transparent background i think this material looks dark so let's increase the brightness of the color something like this and i'm going to do the same for the other material maybe decrease the roughness let's see all right i think it looks great please leave a comment if you have any questions don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you on the next one.